Colorado Springs 2014 at the EAC convention. It's being called one of the biggest gatherings, most attended groups they've had in years. What's responsible for the show being so successful? Well, I think the success of the shows is always due to the people that put it on. So the, the convention chair, the Bourse chair, um, they've both done a fabulous job. The hotel has been very, very cooperative. Um, I, I think part of it has to do with the fact that we have the new grading guide coming out that has been in, op in, in planning for 45 years and actually been worked on for the last two. And I think that might be a bit of a draw, but I think it's primarily the work of the convention chair and the Boris chair and the hotel. You've been elected president, upcoming president for Early American Coppers. Yep. As incoming president, what, is your, what are your goals and aspirations for the group during your tenure in office? I think the main thing that I would like to see us do is to become more appreciated by numismatists in general. I think there is a false view that EAC is kind of an elitist organization. Um, we're not. We're really a very friendly group, which I know you know, and I think anything that the, the images that you're going to post about the convention will show that we're not like that. I will say, however, that the coins we collect, the early large cents, the early half cents, the colonials, are really the creme de la creme of American numismatics. So what we collect is, is the best stuff, the most interesting stuff, handmade, everything. It's, it's, it's just phenomenal. But we as a club are really a very friendly group. And uh, I'd like to see us be more appreciated for that, more understood for that. And uh, what, what made me look forward to at future EAC conventions? Future conventions are probably going to be like this. Next year we're going to meet in Dallas. So people who come will have a chance to uh, look at heritage and, uh, and uh, uh, see things around Dallas. The year after that, we're going to the Queen City of Charlotte, North Carolina. We're going to be right downtown in a brand new hotel. And, and I think that's going to be very exciting. John Kralovich is going to put that one on. And we're still looking for a site for after that. And what is your counsel to someone that wants to find out more about early American coppers? I would say the first thing to do would be to go to our website. Uh, you can learn a great deal. You can get access to a lot of different kinds of information. I would say go to any big coin show. Uh, talk to some of the EAC member dealers. Uh, you'll know them by the fact that there are a lot of copper coins in their cases. Um, all of them will be happy to talk to you, share their information, share their knowledge. Um, I, that's the way I got involved, and, and I think that's the way anyone can get involved.